Hey guys, Dr. Daniel again. And this is a little girl that's been bitten on the back of the neck. I saw her yesterday evening and unfortunately didn't have time to do a surgery. So she's coming to me this morning. She was bitten on the back of the neck. There's a few puncture wounds and I can feel a pocket underneath. I did start her on antibiotics, broad spectrum yesterday at 12 and a half mg per kg, along with an anti-inflammatory. And it's definitely improved a lot, but there's still a big pocket underneath. So the plan today is a Penrose drain. Leave that in for around two to three days. Just flush this out, debride it a little bit, and hopefully she'll be on her way. And she should be absolutely fine. We've clipped the area quite generously. And what we're gonna do is just cut this drape to size. Just as so. do here is this sticky drapes are a little bit frustrating to use just like that we've got some flush with us we're just gonna make the puncture wounds a little bit cleaner you want to do is debride some of the wound so just around the outside of where the skin was penetrated you want to debride some of this tissue, just like this. I don't go crazy. Just like this. And you can see there's a big pocket in there. This is a dirty surgery. I try and keep sterility, but it's, it's going to be a very sterile, dirty infection inside. You can see all the pus coming out as they open up. The reason for debriding this is because sometimes the tissue dies on the outside and it's going to increase the healing effects. And you can see this goes all the way through just like that. And the point in the drain is to help with the drainage of the, the fluid and the buildup underneath. You want to try and get it go from one side to the other, sometimes very difficult. Like that. Okay. This is going all the way through. And you, in an ideal one, it from the deepest part of the pocket to the other deepest part, which is like that. So you've got some sterile flush that I've got all set up. You want to flush the area. It's going to be like that. You can see it's coming out the other side. just ever so slightly wider in here. Okay. Just like that, you can see that. Now you can see it's all starting to drain out. The nurses are gonna hate me because it's gonna go everywhere. of that bacteria out of this pocket as possible. And you're gonna do as much of this as necessary. Some research suggests you need to use around two to 250 mils for a small pocket to remove as much of it as possible. To be honest, this case has improved massively since yesterday with the antibiotics. 
You can see there's lots of little lumps, lumps coming out. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then what we're going to do is place a Penrose drain. The important thing in a drain is you pull it from one way, you don't pull it back out. So. that you never want to pull it back because then you'll in you bring in the bacteria back to the site don't want to have it too long here and here will be fine and then I usually do one or two stitches either side I usually use a free knot vicor I like to go through one side Drain like this. Okay. And I usually keep this in for two to three days. Don't do them too tight. And you want to leave the heads on this long so that the nurses can remove this quite easily once the patient is conscious and two or three days time when it comes for the post-op check. Okay, that's my biggest advice to you. So look here and here. I see a lot of vets, they cut them way too short and then trying to remove them makes your life very difficult. And it's usually the vets that don't see the patient again that have that reasoning. So just like that, I go through one layer on one side, one layer on the other side. I do nice and gentle stay sutures. These are Old school, but they're highly effective, and I've never had a problem doing these. I would say, because it will drip a little bit, tell the owners to keep the patient in a, uh, maybe one room at home, so it doesn't go over their sofa, because otherwise it's not gonna be too happy. I would say the highest complication in this is when the drain isn't placed in the deepest pocket and then you're basically not doing anything with the drain. It will just build up in another part of the, uh, the, the, the abscess underneath. This dog was bitten quite badly. All the tissue underneath is very inflamed. But luckily the owners came straight away has already been on antibiotics for one day, so the infection is already starting to look much better. I'm just going to place through one side again, just like that. That is pretty much done. We'll give it a little wipe over afterwards. And this little girl should be fine. Broad spectrum antibiotics for about a week. If it was a really, really severe case, you could extend it to 10 days, but you would want to see it at the five to seven day mark for sending it off. I'd say 12 and a half mix per kg. Be absolutely fine for this, this sort of issue. Just like that. Give it a little clean up and uh, should be absolutely fine. <laughs>